Stefano had to loosen up a little bit. Sweetheart, Ned, you're not going to cause a scene, are you? No. She does seem to have a thing about men with hair, doesn't she? Well, she obviously doesn't have a thing for men with brains, otherwise Can we she'd change the subject, I'm sorry, please? I'm sorry. Would you like to go someplace else? Why? I don't could do whatever she wants. I don't give a damn. Excuse me. Ned? I'm just going to call the office. As <sighs> if today wasn't bad enough already, whose idiot idea was it to come here? Yours. Well, let's get out of here. The oysters haven't arrived yet. Shuck the oysters. I have more important things on my plate. Shuck the oysters, Tracy. Shuck the really? oysters, Ashton. The Scotty will be here in a minute. Yes, it's what he's doing in the meantime that worries me. Oh, you mean Lucy? No, I don't mean Lucy. I mean Lucy and Alan. <clears throat> Alan is part of this piece. There's a there's a connection between the three of them, and it has something to do with ELQ because that's where the money is. Tracy, Scotty is out. Alan has no say. What can they possibly do? I don't know, Ashton, but I I am going to find out. I don't doubt that you will. In the meantime, there's no sense worrying. I worry, okay? I worry. Tracy, you run the place. What can they possibly do tonight that you can't undo tomorrow morning? There has to be something that I can do. I know that Tracy and Scott are up to something. Alan, Tracy seemed just as surprised as we were at Scott's resignation. Well, I think it's all part of their plan. What plan? Something is going on at ELQ, something that is not good, and I'm not going to have it. Well, Tracy seemed genuinely concerned about the company. Mother, let me tell you something. That company's gone to hell in a handbasket since she took over, and she's having that tawdry affair with Baldwin. Oh, now, Alan, really. Let me tell you something. I cannot tell you how many calls I have had from business people and from major stockholders saying that the mismanagement in the company is absolutely rapid. I mean, this used to be a company that was solid and dignified. We have become a laughing stock. I'm telling you something, if... You were running the company? <sighs> but I'm not. If you don't like the way things are being done, Alan, why don't you go in there and get it back? Look, as Tracy said, I don't have any voting rights anymore. I handed over my voting rights to you and to Mother. You can get them back. Monica's right, dear. Monica usually is. I'll have to think about it. Oh, hello. Hi, everybody. Where have you been? Hello. Oh, darling, I was just, um, I was, I was taking a little walk. Were you down at the boathouse? The boathouse? No, in December? No way. I, um, I, I couldn't help overhearing. I heard you say something about maybe going back to ELQ. We were just talking, that's all. Well, you know something? I think it's a wonderful idea. I do. I mean, I know that that place hasn't been the same since you left. Don't you agree, Mother Quartermain? I think that it's up to us to talk Alan into going back to ELQ. That is Alan's decision. Well, um, I think he must. I think it's the right thing to do. You know what? I have a great idea. Darling, why don't I throw together a little party for the stockholders? You have we'll more important things in... to do, Lucy, than throw parties. No, I don't, darling. Nothing's more important than making sure my husband's happy. Paying off your debts is more important, Lucy. Well, we can do that. We can handle it. No, Lucy, it. no. You can do that. You've soaked me for enough. You're on your own. But, darling, I, I, um, I really don't think now... I think I have to get home. No, Monica, please stay. Yeah, After all, this I... is your home. Stop it, Lucy. I'll drive you home, Monica. Thank you, Al. Good night, Lana. Good night, dear. Um, well then, good night. Mother Quartermain, I, I'm... I'm terribly sorry that you had to hear that little exchange. I've heard worse. Well... You know, I guess I have been kind of thoughtless lately, and Alan has a right to be angry at me. It's just that I really have been trying to make our family work and, and look out for little Edward II. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mother Quartermain, could you tell me something? What would a, a Quartermain wife do in a situation like this? A Quartermain wife wouldn't have gotten to this situation to begin with. Good night. Are you toots? <sighs> Are you out of your mind? Everyone could come in here any minute. No, I, I just saw him leave with Monica. Hey, you better keep an eye on those two. What do you want now? I got a little surprise for you. Scott Baldwin, don't you think I have had enough surprises for one day? I think you're gonna like this one. 
It's a way to get us out of all of our financial problems. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got the diamonds back? You got them? Forget about the diamonds. I got something better. Read this. A bank loan? You a bank loan. Got a great interest rate. No, you're not serious. I am this. serious. Take a look at it. See? It's a half a percent lower than anybody else got. See, I figure we'll be able to get out of our problems well, saying about... We, we'll? We'll? We're in this together, Lucy. I am not interested in getting involved in a bank loan. Well, you better get interested because they don't go around loaning large chunks of money to guys that are unemployed. That's why I need a cosigny. A cosigny? Yeah, a cosigny. Sounds a little funny, though, doesn't it? Of course, you see, with the Quartermain name, we can just sail this right through. We'll be out of our problems, back on Easy Street. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? It sounds like blackmail to me. You know, sometimes people think about banks that way. No, I don't. no, Personally, no, I feel no, as though I mean bank you. Me? Yes, you. You know, if I sign that, then I'm going to be under your thumb until I pay the whole thing off. Well, I can think of worse places to be, like, uh, say, the poorhouse. Where do I sign? Sit down. There you go. See here? There and there. Here's to our future, Toots. See you around. I hate it all ready. Oh, Tracy, you've uh, hardly touched your food. Do you mind? I can't eat. Every time I look at him, it turns my stomach. What? Oh, oh, the hair. Yes, it is. Uh... Slightly unappetizing, I must say. I can't say. believe the way he and Scott made a fool out of me. He and Don deserve each other. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. The commercialization of Christmas. What? This ornament, the Delafield's logo on it. Am oh. I boring you? <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired all of a sudden. I'm sorry. Frankie said you were sick. What's the matter? You have the flu? Well. Yeah, but I, I thought I was getting better. I guess not. Well, come on. I'm gonna take you home. Okay. <laughs>